All right, number nine is just like number seven. Just take the bottom, set it equal to zero. All right, when you solve it, that's going to give you an answer of six over seven. Because you move minus six over, make it a positive six. All right, so our answer for this one is, for any x you can find, x cannot equal six over seven. All right, let's go to number eight now. So all these problems are the same. We take the bottom and you set it equal to zero. All right, this one's a little different. I can divide out of x. Both of them have an x in common. So to solve that, we're going to factor out of x. It's going to look like that. This answer is x equals zero. This answer, if I take minus four and move it over, that would be x equals positive four. So for all my x's I could have, x cannot equal 0 and x cannot equal 4. All right, we'll do one more. I'll do, uh, I'll skip ahead and do number, no, let's do number 10. Take the bottom, set it equal to zero. This one's different because they both don't have an x in common the way they did on number eight. So we'll just take minus four, move it over. That'll give you positive four. When you find the square root, you get two. So since you found a square root, it'd be plus or minus two. Positive two and negative two. So for all your x's, you can have x cannot equal plus or minus two. 